all right yes thank you very much for staying with us god bless all of you yes for helping us um, grow this channel um yeah gradually gradually thank you very much it's always a pleasure to have you join us today we are going to look at seven things ghana must do if we want to beat um, portugal tomorrow and shock the world if you want to really shock portugal we have to do these seven things we are going to talk about in this particular video of course we do this video with you all our videos is always are always done with our viewers and so you have to um leave your thoughts and comments below let me hear what you have to say about these seven things what do you think ghana must do if we really want to beat portugal and um, let me hear your thoughts and views in the comment section it's very 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 important for you to comment below this particular video now and um, do well to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us like this video and do well to leave your thoughts and comments below as well hit the notification bell and select all so that anytime we drop a video you will be the first to get a particular video over there thank you very much for staying with us now um the Ghana Black Stars will play their first FIFA World Cup opener in Group H with Portugal. Yes, and that will be the first game of the senior national team, the Black Stars. And the Black Stars is hoping um, to shock everyone, shock Portugal by beating them to acclaim or to claim all the three points from that particular game. And for that thing to materialize, for, for that thing to happen, of course, we cannot just go in unprepared, not having any plan and all of that. So you have to do certain things. And that's why... Um, sports 7 gh is bringing you some seven things we have to do if we really want to beat portugal like i said you can also leave your thoughts and comments below about other things we can do or about the things we are talking about here over there now um the first point is that we have to start with we have to get our starting 11 right okay the starting 11 is very key in any game and that is very important otuado has been doing a lot of testing a lot of um i don't know i don't know how to even put it but this time around if we really want to beat portugal in the first game of the senior national team the blasters we obviously have to get our starting 11 right you have to fill the right players with the right mentality with the right confidence and everything get the starting 11 right and that is very very important if we want to beat portugal um the time for for testing the time for trying these players and that and that uh, it's, it's past we are now with the main business and the main business starts with portugal and that is why we have to beat them or get at least a point and if you need to do that we have to get the starting 11 right and that is very very important over there now the second point is that look we don't have to concede in the first half it is very very important the rigidity and defensive nature of the blasters should be at at at, at the serious level or even at 100 percent and over in the first half of the game the reason being that look portugal have a lot of quality and they will think that look in the first half they have to kill the game they have to score like two three goals okay and if they get the first goal obviously they will be coming at us very much especially when they saw argentina being shocked by saudi arabia even after scoring the first goal so it means that in the first half you see portugal coming at us even after they get the first goal. so we don't have to concede in the first half the first half should be a 0-0 at least or a 1-0 for ghana at most okay so we don't have to concede very rigid in the first half and then in the second half maybe if we come back we can try to um, turn the game to our advantage over there so that is the second point the next point is that otuado should make his changes early no matter how the game is going if there are need to make or if there is a need to make changes otuado should make those changes very early in the game because look we've had otuado fine you may say it's, it was friendly match and all of that but in the game versus nicaragua and then he made his changes in the 80th minute and so fine that's a switzerland game he, he he made changes early but look it's it's somehow typical of Ghanaian coaches um kwesia pia and all of them they were not making changes early if there is the need to make changes the changes should come early and not at the time where the game has already been uh, maybe done, done and dusted for portugal or whatever you get a point so the changes that otuado will make should be made early if there is a need for change if there is no need for changes then of course you should stick with to the same 
tactics and um, formation that he went in with. We should believe we can beat them and we will. We shouldn't respect them too much. And that is very important in everything you want to achieve in, uh, in life. Everything, no matter how impossible that thing looks, the first step in achieving that particular thing is believing in yourself. And that is why the Ghana National, the Ghana Black Stars should believe in ourselves. We should believe that we have the quality to upset Portugal. We should believe that our players are world class. We should believe that Portugal are just 11 players like us. We should believe that indeed we have done it before um, versus Czech Republic versus um, even the likes of United States of America, Serbia in 2010 and all of that. And so we can do it against Portugal this time around. The first point of achieving anything is believing in yourself. And if the Black Stars players already think that, oh, Portugal are run away leaders, they are going to beat us, there is no way they will beat us. But if they believe that we can beat them, and, and indeed, they will go on, work very hard, and beat Portugal. So, we have to believe in ourselves, and that is very, very much important. Look, Otuado should get his tactics and formation and game plan right that is very important his tactics formation game plan otuado should make sure that it is the best in consultation with chris hilton in consultation with the whole black stars technical team video analyst performance analyst everyone in the technical team even the local black stars uh, coaches otuado should consult everybody and ensure that we are going into this particular game with the right game plan with the right tactics and with the right formation over there and i'm sure that will deliver very much for us now let's talk about the next point and the next point is that we shouldn't only focus on ronaldo okay this is the seat point we shouldn't only focus on ronaldo alone they have other quality players besides look ronaldo is already he's, he's done with football right now he can't run he can't he will just be hovering around the 80 year boss and he, okay he, he he doesn't involve himself in the game so we shouldn't only be focusing on yes he's a threat yes he is someone who can cause an upset anytime with a half chance ronaldo with his quality can do anything but the point is that there are other quality players in the team like rafael leao like bernardo silva like bruno fernandez octavio jao felix jao cancel a whole lot of quality players who are playing day in day out in europe and world-class players so we just cannot only focus on ronaldo and i heard um sammy kofose making that particular point yesterday and it is very very important point to make over there the last but not the least point the seventh point that we should have the ball a lot of the times and that is very very important if you are playing portugal we should ensure that we have the ball a lot of the time because if they have the ball they are going to dictate what to use to uh, what to do with the ball and that may cause an upset for us because they have a lot of quality players who can change the dynamics of the game in a split of the second so if they are seeing the ball so much if they are holding the ball directing where the ball goes showing where the ball should pass then indeed they are going to upset us and upset us we shouldn't give them the chance to have the ball a lot of the times no 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 ghana blaster should have a lot of midfielders who can hold the ball who can possess the ball who can direct play with the ball and ensure that we get the maximum points or at least the point from the game versus portugal the black stars can do it we've done it before we've done it in 2006 2010 even in 2000 2014 we were the only team to draw with um, germany um, when they were going to win the world cup so it tells me that we fear no foe okay when we are the world cup no matter how favorite you are we are, we are going to beat you and that is why i think that the players should believe in themselves Ghanaians should support them like i am supporting them and i hope and i know that indeed the ghana blasters will not lose this particular game versus portugal in the stadium 974 in Qatar, Doha. thank you very much for staying with us please do all to subscribe to the channel follow some more fantastic videos contents like this like this video do all to 
hit the notification bell and select all um leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section let me hear your views and thoughts comments everything in the comment section um below this particular video thank you very much definitely i'll see you in the next update thank you very much bye bye